All right, so looking at the shear capacity of the weld themselves. So we're onto our third failure mode now. So the capacity is given by this equation. You can find that in clause 9.7.3.10. If you if you ever forget the equation, always go back to the Australian standards. Uh, almost all the equations that we've used in uh, in this topic are s drawn straight from the AS4100. Okay, so we'll solve the capacity. Firstly, we need to find the capacity reduction factor phi. Okay, and this is equal to 0 0.8. You can grab this off table 3.4, and this is for an SP weld. Okay, just so uh, if I didn't state it before, this is an SP weld. So sorry about that. Um, so we're going to be using SP weld, and we can look at table 3.4 and find that it's 0 0.8, or we can refer refer to clause 9.7.3.10, which is where this is from. Yeah, um, so we've got phi, we know, so moving on to our next variable, throat thickness. Now we have an equal angle fillet weld, so this makes it easy for us. We can use just TW on root 2 to find our throat thickness. And remember, our throat thickness is the plane in which she acts along. And uh, we know what our thickness of our weld is, so we're using an 8mm equal angle fillet weld. So our TW equals to root 2. Oh, sorry, our TW equals to 8. You divide.